Hey fellas, on top of me getting my Godzilla Cross Con ticket, it, as promised, I'll have a couple videos this week. Hey, one related to Godzilla, and even though I'm on his team, I thought I would start with something related to Con, so let's talk about the animated event series Skull Island, Island which streamed last year on Netflix in a partnership with Toho and Legendary. So let's begin. The, the film... Now, the show takes place for eight episodes. Oh, it's and sees He is a... a shipwreck a trio of people. Since those didn't want to survive the... I have the... The shipwreck crossing paths with, with a mysterious young woman and, and a group of mercenaries on Skull Island and where Calm may be came, but he certainly is not the only threat they focus on and admittedly well Calm may not be really in focus until the last couple episodes. I think they did a good job of building him up and creating an atmosphere of how dangerous all the flora and fauna are. Her. I particularly enjoyed how on the voice cast is utilized. And even the family dynamic with often, even with all the human characters and a lot of these, these films, especially this continuum in particular, being contentious. They did a good job of viewing them as the action survivor kind of archetype. Like, he wants to make it alive, especially when one character gets stung by a sea monster and they had to get him off the island before the poison becomes lethal. Also, definitely a good sense of danger and pacing on the whole horizons. Take note. The animation is relatively solid across the board. Well, nothing spectacular her in terms of of what it sets out to do. It does do a good job of framing the I mean, the other monsters on the island and and also establishing this variant of Kong in this context. I mean it's not quite as effective as the twenty seventeen Consco Island film. Oh, but it definitely he does a good job on the whole and also not going to be getting too into the discourse on the way already claiming that it's been being slammed compared to minus one which is entirely accurate since the embargo hasn't even broken yet I mean that sense I definitely think that based on what I've seen so far, it should be a worthwhile sequel to who Godzilla vs. Kong and another establishment that the MonsterVerse is one of the more stale cinematic universes out there in this day and age. Well, it fails. Really can't imagine it being the worst in the 1998 film at all. And on the whole, I'd argue the MonsterVerse movies have more effort put into them than that. Hmm. Anyway, I can definitely recommend watching the show if you're craving more or action before Godzilla Cross Kong opens this weekend. And and I will see you very soon with Nostalgic Grave on one of my favorite installments in the entire franchise for Godzilla. You also have to wait and see what it is, though. That'll be all for now. I'll see you all again soon. Take care, everyone. Mm-hmm.